The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. This is the art talk by me, Rachel Peacock. When I first saw the painting, The Last Supper, I knew that that's what I wanted to do because it is a great representation of how the disciples and Jesus would react after he said that one of the disciples, somebody at the table, was going to betray him. And so I started doing research on Leonardo and why the Last Supper was created and where and some of the small details. Here is the picture of the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. <clears throat> Leonardo da Vinci was born in 1452 in a small Tuscan town near Florence. He left Florence in the 1480s and moved to Milan. He continued to move around until his death in 1519 in France. Leonardo created around 30 paintings. One of Leonardo's most famous works was the fresco painting The Last Supper. Leonardo da Vinci created the Last Supper from 1495 to 1498. The Last Supper is considered a Renaissance masterpiece. The Last Supper was created by the request of Duke Ludvico Sforza for the dining hall of the Santa Maria del Grazie monastery found in Milan. Leonardo da Vinci used an oil temper mix of paint and directly applied it to the dry wall. Originally, he did this to capture the look of an oil painting, but the Last Supper soon began to fade. Since then, the Last Supper has been gradually losing its primary look. In the 17th century, a door was cut into the bottom of the Last Supper. This to me sounds disrespectful, but Leonardo da Vinci's work was not held to the esteem that it is today. And here, you can see where the door is cut in the painting and you can kind of see where it's starting to fade here is an outline of what I'm going to talk about I'm going to try to show you while looking at the Last Supper one can perceive the classicism humanism and and technical perfection that is seen in Renaissance art Leonardo da Vinci used techniques that were created early in the Quattrocento, which means the period of art and architecture in Italy spanning 1400 to 1499. Because of the details in the painting, one can see how Leonardo da Vinci made the Last Supper scene seem like Jesus the Apostles were eating in the continuation of the dining hall, because that is where Leonardo da Vinci painted this. It was in, originally in a dining hall, so he just kind of made it look like this was a continuation which is really clever, I think. So Leonardo da Vinci painted the Last Supper room as a rectangle room with intricate ceilings and tapestries on the walls. You can see here. The back of the room in the Last Supper has three windows where beautiful landscape can be admired. The style of the landscape shown is actually more of a foggy scene. When artists use the technique of a gray background, that is called aerial perspective and was used to give the illusion that there was more depth in landscape scenes. In The Last Supper, Leonardo captivates the audience with the focus on Jesus at the center of the painting in the middle of the apostles. Also, his body forms a triangular shape where no one over overlaps his figure. Leonardo da Vinci's Leonardo da Vinci's painted the apostles in four sets of three. And this may have been a way da Vinci wanted to be symbolic since there are four gospels and the Trinity's number is three. Here you can see three, one, three number two, three number three, three number four. In the Last Supper, Leonardo uses a one-point linear perspective. This type of perspective that creates the illusion of depth through use of vanishing point or two vanishing points and the orthogonal lines. The vanishing point is visible at Jesus' head and the orthogonal lines at the tops of the wall, tapestries, or the coffers where they intersected Jesus. Jesus was also framed by the pen pediment above him. Jesus' figure is a silhouette because of the three window 
windows light in the background which can be seen as the trinity very many details in this painting are symbolic next i'll be talking about what the last supper illustrates the last supper is a beautiful painting that gives us insight on what the last supper with the apostles and jesus may have looked like specifically this scene in the last supper painting is right after jesus declared that one of his disciples will betray him this scripture is found in matthew 26 21 one of you is about to betray me Now that you know what this scene is, you can now understand that look of confusion and horror on the faces of the apostles. They probably began to bicker among one another, talk amongst themselves, and point fingers on who they think it would be. Eventually, they found out it was Judas, even though they knew it was Jesus all along. Even though Jesus knew it all along. Even though the apostles do not express too much emotion, you can tell that they are disturbed by what Jesus has told them. Although, some emotions have been captured in the Last Supper painting, such as Philip protesting, John becoming sorrowful, and even Christ who is accepting what is, must be done. Leonardo painted Judas as a shadowy figure where only a portion of his face is seen. Additionally, you can see Judas holding his bag of silver that he received for betraying Jesus. Ironically, Judas, Judas is seen talking with Peter and John, even though he is usually depicted across the table from the others. Like in other movies and, and other paintings and stories, Judas is usually on the other side of Jesus or away from them. Peter, John, and Judas all played significant roles during the death of Jesus. Judas betrayed Jesus, Peter denied Jesus, and John was there at the cross where Jesus died. Leonardo brilliant brilliantly captures this moment in this dramatic painting. Leonardo's use of strict rules of perspective and his graceful balance of motion and restraint underscore the artistic philosophy and style of the Renaissance, according to the Humanities Culture book. I gathered all of my information from Culture and Values, a survey of humanities book written by Lawrence Cunningham, John Reach, and Luis Rathis and also from the Italian Renaissance.org. Thank you for listening.